Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with the P10 from At Ezer. Friends, it's time for our first cut, so let's get cracking. Friends, I'm going to connect it first to Lightburn. It is my favorite tool for using a laser cutter. We need to start by clicking on the Devices button, and then we're going to choose Find My Laser. I have just plugged the laser in via USB. I have just plugged in the laser cable. Let's power it on. And then over here, I'm going to hit Find My Laser. It says make sure it is connected via USB, which I did just do. Let's hit Next and see if it can track it down. Bingo. Now it says it's an eye laser and I know that's not correct. I'm going to hit OK and I'm going to name it A-T-E-Z-R P10. But then I'm going to switch it to Gerbil. So when we hit next, it does go to front left. I'm going to say OK on that. And I'm going to hit finish. But then I'm going to click on that and hit edit. And I'm going to switch it to G-R-B-L. It is serial USB. I'm going to tell it next. Those measurements are perfect. So once again, next and next and next. Now I can hit OK. I'm going to switch to the laser. And let's see if we can find the correct COM port. Bingo. It was KIM8. And there it is homing for the very first time. So far, so good. All right, friends, so with everything in place, let's learn how to cut with this laser. I'm going to draw a tiny rectangle. It's about two centimeters by one centimeter. I'm going to draw a silly circle. Once I've got the two shapes drawn, I'm going to switch back, select them both, and I'm going to hit tools, and I'm going to hit weld shapes. So now I've got a little bit of a funky shape I can cut out. Now over here on the laser cutter, I'm going to cut with cardboard. I love using scrap material. The other thing I love about this laser is you can set the height above your material with this epic little kickstand. A lot of lasers come with a piece of material you put underneath. This is so slick because you never have to look for it. It's always attached. Loosen, adjust, find your height, get your material in where you need it to be. I'm going to make sure I'm over this cutting mat. Since this is scrap material, I do not have to be perfect, but I do want to get it set so that it's going to cut most efficiently. All right, we are locked in place. Let's flip the kickstand back up. Cardboard's there. As you can see, I can nudge and move. And we also can see the beam. Let's do fire and see if that shape is going to fit. Now, it went down below. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to job origin below. Now when we hit frame, it uses the material more wisely. It's building up from that spot. Friends, at this point, let's grab our goggles. Hit start and see how well we cut through this bit of cardboard. perfect amount of time for a test if we click on this and push it out oh my gosh that is fantastic so friends now that I know that I can cut with those numbers let's cut something awesome I am going to import a tiny jet of mine I'm just gonna hit delete on that let's do file import I want to find my tiny jet so I will type tiny jet or tiny asterisk there is my tiny jet SVG all right friends so now that it's loaded let's get our settings again I'm gonna switch out here to that number 15 I think it was let's check our cuts and layers 660 percent one pass that is fantastic let's move to a good spot on our piece of cardboard I'm gonna still come over I'm going to do that shift nudge down. And I'm going to go one more left. Let's hit frame and see if it fits. 
that looks super efficient. Friends, it's time to grab the goggles, hit start, and let's make something awesome. Laser cut jet. So after a couple minutes, check that out. The P10 cuts so crisp. Tail fin, main wing, there's the fuselage, kind of hung up in the back there just a tiny bit, and the main wing. Kind of tied up a little in this corner. You see there was a little tear. So maybe I'll have to slow that speed down just a little bit or bump up the power. So friends, the jet works like this. The wing slides in and it just barely fits. You have to slide it back so that it gets in. And then you can adjust it forward and back for the center of gravity. This is four millimeter thick cardboard. That is one thing that is required for the design to match. You need to have four millimeter thick cardboard. And then the tail fin goes just like that. Alrighty friends, so this is the Tiny Jet. It is free on Thingiverse. I'll make sure there's a link in the video. I've also got videos of me launching it. I'll make sure you can find those if you want to see that as well. There's a launcher too that you can build so you can rubber band launch these awesome little airplanes. Put some clay on the front, you'll be amazed how far they fly. Now we're here though because of the P10. Love how easy it was to assemble. The dual beam laser is super slick and I love that kickstand. I think it is a genius idea. Friends, of course, if you're interested in one, I will have links in the description. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, if you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.